Hi guys, I just wanted to take a quick second and introduce myself to you and let you know what you're going to be watching in this upcoming video. Um, my name is Chad Fosdick. I am serving my first term on the Trib Board of Directors. I, I started my term here in the tail end of 2019. And um, we actually, in that meeting, and I've been learning a ton. Um, actually, let me back up a second. I'm a, I'm a single store premier rental purchase franchisee. Uh, we've been open. We just crossed our six-year mark. Uh, in North Platte, Nebraska. Uh, but back to it. Um, I went, I attended my first trip board meeting um, at the tail end of 2019, and a lot of planning was getting done that was prior to me uh, being there uh, for this Atlanta show. And so um, I got together with Mike Tissett, that has also been for a long time on the trip board of directors, and uh, we decided to do a quick interview. So what you're going to see here over the next couple of minutes is the format that has been adjusted and um, what you can expect when you come to the meeting of the minds in Atlanta. The reason we wanted to do this was because we really changed up the format of of the sessions. I don't know what we're calling them, but the sessions, right? So, and you yeah. really took the lead on that. So, can you can you walk us through what it? why we changed it or why you guys, because this was really the marketing committee for the trip board. That yeah. Did. Yeah. You know, we, uh, luckily I got a great committee of folks to work with, um, work with to, to kind of break this thing apart and start all over. Um, you know, Chris Kell Jr. was intimately involved and um, Kelly Martin and Dan Singh and Paul met of the air. And I probably pronounced that wrong, Paul, sorry. Um, but uh, they were all came in, get guns blazing, ready to, you know, make it the best show we could ever make it. And I think it all started with the fact that, you know, we're not beholden to the time frames or the rooms or anything from brand source or APRO, sure. you know, nothing against those two organizations. They're, they're both great partners, but now we have the freedom to do what we want, you know? So knowing that we had this, this open palette, you know, just provided an opportunity to be creative and that's what we tried to do. So, um, the, the key to making the meeting of the minds work the way it did 20 years ago is small groups of people that are open and willing to share information. You can't have a room of 250 people and share anything. It just, right. it's not an environment that works. So, so that we started with the idea of we wanted to be able to break this thing into small groups, uh, came up with a format where we could have these eight rooms on eight topics where we could just run over and over where people could go and, and max the room out at 25 people. So, you know, we felt that 25 people was a great number of people that people were going to be still be willing to share. Um, and then we really wanted, instead of having presentations, we decided we just need to have people there to, to broach subjects, to start the conversation, just to kickstart the conversation. And yeah. we ended up calling those people the conversation catalysts, nice. you know, and really it's a kickstarter. It's like, here's five minutes of stuff we want to talk about. Now let's go. Now let's just stir the pot and, and uh, make people a little uncomfortable and, and uh, pull some stuff out of people. And hopefully we got, we got people that are willing to do that. And so that, that, I mean, that's really the idea behind it is, you know, let's get this thing broke off into smaller groups. You know, let's come up with topics that everybody really want to talk about from, from, you know, uh, web leads to real estate to um, what happens five years from now, rent to own people go wherever they want and keep the group small and hopefully we can create robust conversations. And that's, you know, I don't want people, I don't think people want to go there to, to listen to presentations, but they want to go there to talk about certain topics and you know, they'll get a chance. They'll get a chance to do that in this format. You know, we'll see. Do you have the, do you have the list in front of you of what all the sessions are? I, I do not. I know. So interestingly, I, interestingly, and uh, I do, which is oh, shocking. Okay. There we go. Um, so yeah, the sessions are pricing, which sounds like crazy boring, but it's not because you can make or break your business doing that right, really repricing. Um, real estate, winning the occupancy game, you know, negotiating a lease, renegotiating a lease, um, you know, red flags to look for when you go look for a place. And we know a lot of people that have gone into places that, you know, the, you know they negotiate a good lease and then five years from now, that thing goes up 10% and they're paying $6,000 a month and now they're screwed, you know? And so things to look for. Um, what the one I'm leading the discussion with, with Dan Singh is data worth action. You know, we all look at all these key performance indicators and profit and margin and in turns and you know, which one matters, how to manage inventory and why that matters. Um, employee engagement, 
is one um, that Kelly and, and Mike from Magic are going to lead about perks and policies and advancement and engagement, um, digital marketing, how to turn leads into sales. Um, the one of my favorite is the WTF session. Yes. What the, what's the future? <laughs> what's the future of rent to own? Um, so I'm sure you're going to make that one fantastic. Um, recruiting and staffing. Um, you know, a lot of people spend time doing that and then you can't leave trip without having a session about new products. Um, so those are the core sessions that we're going to offer. Um, all of which I think have tons of value in everybody's plans for 2020. Um, so I'm excited about it. And we're going to spend a lot of time talking about the, 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 the customer experience. Yeah. And that's going to be sprinkled through the whole thing. Yeah. Trying to make it a better experience at the show and, you know, and, and a better experience for customers in our stores. Well, I think that at least from the discussions that I was a part of, as you guys were preparing to put this change in place was, you know, as a trip board, we look at this trip show as, you know, of course, the members that are attending are our customers and we need, that's where they got to make that experience. Out. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why. And so the, there's eight rooms, eight topics, max out at 25 per, and then people will have four opportunities to go to yeah. each one of these. Yeah. So they can pick four they want to go to. Okay. Yeah. Because there's two the first day of it and then two the next morning. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So they're going to have to pick between the eight. And obviously, a lot of people have more than one person attending. They'll split up and hopefully okay. all, you know, companies will be able to go to all of them kind of, um, you know, throughout the day. But, you know, it, obviously out of those eight, there's got to be four that's going to trip somebody's trigger, I would yeah. hope. Well, I know for me, I mean, being a part of that WTF one um, with Paul, we've we've had a couple calls already. And um, I selfishly, I'm just excited to be in the room for all four of those sessions, because while one person's going to be able to go in there and, and get one session, I will be able to see all four of them. And it's just, you know, I'm going to be taking notes just like everyone else because well, I'm sure. And like the, the key performance in it, you know, the, the data versus action. I mean, just think about this industry, you know, and, you know, when you, when you, if you were to go to a show and say, how big is your store? Right. You're going to get different answers. You know, right. there's going to be one company that says, Oh, we're 650 BOR. You're going to get one customer that says we're 400 customers. Yep. You get one sub company that says we're 40,000 potential rent. You get one guy that says we do this much revenue. Like everybody even measures the size of their store different. Like right. yeah. totally immersed in data yeah. in any business. And our business is, is absolutely one of those yeah. and get pointed in totally the wrong direction sometimes. I mean, that's, you know, what happens in our stores a lot. People get enamored with a BOR number or a customer number or a potential yeah. rent number and, and we start doing the wrong things, trying to make one number look good, even though it's not helping the profit. It's not helping the revenue. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, was there anything else you wanted to add about um, upcoming? Well, I think, you know, the other cool thing in the show is just having, being able to have it at the right time of the year, um, being able to have it not on the first of the month um, is nice. Um, being able to have it in Atlanta where we started, where the trip group is, is, is uh, headquartered, I think is fantastic. And anybody who's not excited to go to the College Football Hall of Fame that hasn't been there is crazy because that's going to be cool, even if you're a Nebraska fan. Oh, um, man, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> so, you know, wearing my Ohio State colors, you know, even though they lost to Clemson, um, is, is going to be cool. That's going to be a great experience. And doing stuff like that with, you know, friends from Rentone is super fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually more – well, I, obviously, I'm one number one in Nebraska Cornhusker fan. But number two, my second favorite team is the Ohio Bobcats. I'm sure – Good Frank Solich is the head coach. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, he, yeah was, right. he was a uh, all, he was an All American uh, fullback for Nebraska, and then I think he was a coach for twenty something years. And then if if you mention Frank Solich's name here in Nebraska, um, it is probably one of the biggest uh, regrets was firing him. Um, and our our program has not been the same. And I think he uh, yeah, he just keeps rocking and rolling over there in the match. He does. He yeah. does. Yeah. You know, yeah. So anyway. But um, cool. Okay, yeah. No, I'm I'm stoked. I've uh, I've never been a part of the trip group when it's been not co-hosted Connect. with some yeah. others, some other something. So it's going to be a great experience for me to get out there. And I know that uh, amongst our franchise network, there's a lot of buzz about it, and the people are very. Yeah, the other the other huge benefit, Chad, is that is that it's it's going to be just us. Yep. You know, so back to while there was benefits of the brand source relationship. The, the drawback was you would go to the opening dinner and you'd be like, where's, where's Chad? Where, where, where's the rent own guys? You yeah. know, and you couldn't find him. You just go to a bar somewhere, yep. you know? So 
the fact that whatever we do, you're going to turn right and turn left. And there's going to be a guy running a rental store right next to you is, is yeah. that's the way we want it. Like that's the best part of this convention is you're going to be able to look to your right and look to your left. And there's a guy trying to get a card closed, you know? Yeah. And so yeah. that's cool. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I think we covered it all. I really appreciate you carving out some time out of your day for me, Mike. No problem, man. Good to talk to you. Yes, sir. We will see you soon. All right, man. Go Buckeyes. Right. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.